Honest Cloud Cost Management, or CCM for short, is a solution that provides granular detail of daily cloud resource consumption. The solution is designed to bring cloud cost analysis and management into the hands of DevOps and platform engineering teams consuming cloud resources. CCM integrates into your development pipeline to automate resource allocation and tagging as part of your continuous deployment workflows. It provides built-in automation to help reclaim unused environments. It also helps you determine which resources need to be reprovisioned with the right configuration. Today, we're going to show you how to create a budget, how to create a perspective, how to set up reporting for the perspective, and how to configure an alert on anomalous spending in the environment. Inside the Harness console, you will see a number of modules on the far left. Click on Cloud Costs, which takes you directly into the CCM module. You will be presented with an overview page, which details out specific aspects of your environment that you likely would want to see on a daily basis. Click on Budgets. As you can see, you should have a capability of creating a new budget or creating a new budget group. For purposes of this demo, we will be creating a new budget but note that the difference between the two is that a group allows you to combine multiple budgets into budget groups so you can establish correlations between various financial aspects related to your cloud spend. Click on New Budget. The first prompt asks you to define your target. You can select an existing perspective or create a new perspective. Perspectives allow you to create and report cloud costs in ways that fit your business context and user needs. As you can see, there are a lot of perspectives in this environment. For the purposes of this demo, we will create a new perspective. When the next screen loads, you will want to rename the perspective title versus taking the system generated title. This way, the perspective name aligns to your naming standards and business processes. I will title this perspective Acquisition BU. You can leave the perspectives in the default folder or move it to another folder for your FinOps team. I am going to leave this perspective in the default folder. Also, take note that you have a few different options to view the perspective. There's last seven days, last 30 days, last month, and this month. For purposes of this demo, I'm going to select this month. Next, I need to choose a specific rule for the perspective. As you can see, there are several items underneath common, complete with a substantial amount of labels. Then there are cost categories. Next, there are cluster categories to filter data. These focus on Kubernetes clusters you may be building the perspective from. Then there are categories in AWS and Azure to focus on as you build the perspective out. For purposes of this demo, I'm going to focus on an AWS service. Next comes selecting the operator. For our demo today, I'm going to select in, but you can see the other selections provide detail on how to see data displayed in different ways. After I make the in selection, I'm going to find the AWS service I want to target. I'll go ahead and select EC2 instances. The data automatically filters in this view and you get a limited understanding of how the environment is running from a cost perspective. 
select next on the guided configuration bar at the bottom. This is the actual creation of a budget for the acquisitions BU. Let's name it monthly budget. I'll go ahead and click continue. Let's use the pre-populated filled in fields. So monthly and period starts from July 31st of 2023. Notice how you can specify the budget type. There's a specified amount where it's based on a flat dollar amount and then last period spend. Let's set it as specified amount. For the specify amount field, let's put in $12,000 as we don't want the acquisition team to go over that dollar amount on a monthly basis. Look at this add growth rate to budget amount. If you hover over the eye circle, you can see an informational blurb about how you can add a growth rate to your budget over time. This increments your budget amount based on the rate period over time. As company revenue grows, costs are expected to go up. A growth rate lets you automatically reflect this growth on your cloud budgets without manually updating budgets every period. Continue on in this demo, I'm not going to add a growth rate to the budget amount. Let's click continue. On the next screen, I'm going to configure alerts. I'm going to create the first alert based upon actual spend. I'll want to be alerted if the actual amount exceeds 90% of the budget I set for the acquisition team. I need to specify an email address for the alert. I also want to be alerted when the forecasted amount is over 75% so I can meet with the acquisition team and figure out how we can reduce cost, especially if that threshold is hit earlier in the month. I'll specify the same email again and I'll click save. Now the alerts are set up for the acquisition perspective. Next up, I need to create a report. I'd like a weekly report to be sent out on Monday at midnight that reports on the acquisition BU's weekly consumption. I'll put in the same email and you can pick a time zone for the email to be sent. I'll leave it at midnight. I'll also leave the time zone as America slash Chicago. Make sure to click save. Next up, we want to set an anomaly alert. Cloud cost management can detect cost anomalies for your Kubernetes clusters and cloud environments. Cloud cost anomaly detection can be used as a tool to keep cloud costs under control. It also provides alerting capabilities, which are now email and Slack, so stakeholders are notified of each anomaly that's detected. In the notification method screen, click on add channel. Note, you can have multiple channels if required. Also take note of how you can specify Slack or an email with the dropdown. For purposes of rounding out this demo, I'm going to select email. I'll input the same email from the previous examples and then hit save, continue. After you set up your budget, report, and anomaly alerts, select next. This section outlines your preferences for including things like credit, taxes, refunds, anomalies, etc also show your AWS costs as amortized, net amortized, unblended, blended, or effective. There are even some data sets and advanced options if your financial team requires additional ways of seeing some of this data regularly. I'm going to leave the default selected and click on save perspective. After the perspective saves, it will load in the perspective's pane of harness. You can scroll down and take a look at everything the perspective entails. 
To pull the perspective up in the future, select perspectives and load the acquisition BU perspective to review regularly with your team.